guys what's up this your girl liz welcome to my channel or welcome back to my channel how y'all doing today everything is good on this beautiful friday we just out chilling relaxing and enjoying our day getting ready for our sabbath so whew, after a long week it is always worth having a sabbath i'd be so glad when i get to sit down and enjoy my family and enjoy the sabbath that the most high has provided so we just gonna go out and check on everybody see how everyone's doing i hope y'all have a great great day i will see y'all in the next one remember to like subscribe and share so that you can always keep up with my new content and also remember that the holidays are on the way. Peace, love. So, hello. So, as I said, we out checking on the goats, seeing how everyone doing. Mama. Hey, mama. Yeah. Say, hey, bam, bam. Say, hey. <laughs> yeah, say, hey. Sapphire. Say, hey, Sapphire. Oh, Billy. Bam, bam. And crystal, everybody's starting to look good. And jazz, so we cannot forget jazz, the most non talkative nanny until she wants something. We got our chickens out on the yard. What's up, girls? Y'all look good today. Hey, what's up, man? Hey, what's up? Hey, say so, hey. <laughs> yeah so our chickens are out we're gonna have to actually go out and do a yard hunt a egg hunt so that's gonna be exciting girl i don't know what your problem is but that was always exciting to see you running across the yard like that what are y'all up to man y'all laying eggs y'all got my eggs ready i need about 16 eggs from y'all can y'all produce? Yes? Huh? So, the plans, this, because I never actually did say it in the other video with the chickens, but the plan for the chickens is to actually get an incubator, start busting open some eggs. They usually lay eggs right there. I don't know where my egg is at, but they usually do when they're out. They might be around the house, but we plan on getting an incubator. And busting open our own eggs and selling live birds so you can get you some chickens to butcher, to keep, to do whatever you shall want to do. So that is the plan. I plan on getting some more variety. Ooh, don't walk into no spider web. Oh, okay. It look like I got an egg in there, if y'all can see. And my rooster, I didn't let, we didn't let him out because he's been locked up. And we don't know, you know, trying to get him used to being out here so then he can get on the yard. And then, because he's been in his little sanctuary place, he's finally getting to stretch his legs out. So, but we do plan on getting an incubator, busting open eggs, selling chickens. And then um, my husband wants to get a chicken plucker. So that way we can um, pluck the chickens and process the chicken ourselves. That's the whole goal is to become more self-efficient. Oh, y'all just going to slam it by the door? That's cool. Um, to be more self-efficient, to be able to take care of ourselves. You know, all that good stuff that comes with being on the homestead. I got a stick stuck in my dress. That's so lovely. That's a little red. She tends to stay by herself because the other hens don't like her. Now, my husband, he built this chicken pen back in 2015. I was a teenager. And that's how I know. Because I remember him putting this. I actually remember him putting it together. So, yeah. Say, we're hungry. We want some leaves. And y'all ain't coming with it. Oh, we do got some greens over here I wanted to show y'all. That actually bloomed up. And we weren't even. Well, I'm going to tell y'all. I don't know about my husband. But I wasn't even expecting. Look how beautiful it is out right here. It's very lovely. As you can see, there's water standing in the back of my garden. So we definitely going to have to wait on it to dry them up. Look. Girl, if they get any bigger, I can put them in a pot. Put some cornbread on with some chicken. 
Oh, can you say in there? In there. So we do plan on planting the rest of this. Um, we're probably gonna put some peas down and some okra. I'm gonna do my watermelons. I'm probably gonna start my watermelons in a cup very very soon a lot of this ain't i'm gonna show you okay so y'all will know this is a green okay and for people that don't know this right here this just grass okay so them are greens um let's see these are greens this right here these are greens okay uh this is just this just regular stuff these are greens it's got a little bit of stuff mixed in with it um uh, I don't know how far they go. I'm not going to go that far down because I don't want to fall in, in water. But they definitely go that far down. I got my little man with me. He said he decided he was going to keep up with me. So that's what's up. Hey, girl, you going to come out here and find you some grasshoppers? Y'all, let me explain to y'all about the grasshoppers. The grasshoppers. They tend to stay in the garden now because they're afraid of all the chickens on the yard. So I don't have, like, summertime, I mean, springtime and summertime come on into full effect. I don't have grasshoppers in my um in my front yard because they I don't know what they do but they find their way to the garden um late days when we're out there picking peas or bringing in peas or whatever we're doing in the garden 20 to 50 freaking grasshoppers be jumping in front of me What you talking about, Bam Bam? Big pretty, pretty boy up there. I can't wait to see what him and Crystal kids are going to look like. I can't wait for them to go on and breed. I can't wait for Jazz to drop her kids, y'all. It's like any day now, man. It's literally any day. So I did add another bucket. Um, we keep five-gallon buckets. Let's see. Oh. They're going to need some more water, but that's fine. Um, I do. I got one. I got a white bucket. I got a white bucket down there. And I got the blue one down here. Um, Just in case they need extra water and they don't want to walk all the way back down there. And so that's good. I got to call the vet next week. So I'm going to be letting y'all know what they say on that. I'll uh, stop that. Probably Monday morning, I'm going to get up and call for Sapphire. If we got to bring her in, I'll be vlogging that and letting y'all know what's going on. So if any bad things or any good things happen, y'all will be able to keep up with the holidays. Because remember, the holidays are on the way. Like, subscribe, and share this video so that anyone else that y'all know that wants to keep up with us, they can like, they, they can subscribe, and they can share. And we can just keep this train right on rolling. I can't wait to see y'all in the next video. Until then... Have a great, great day, and I'll catch y'all on the flip side. Peace. So it's Friday afternoon and we're out checking on the goats, getting them ready for their Friday night dinner. Say hello, husband. Say hello. Say hello, husband. Hello. <laughs> I thought I had to get him to hear. Uh, little man back there trying to help. Yehuda. Yeah, little man. So we just gonna walk over here and Help feed the goats and watch the goats eat and catch up. That doesn't go in there, baby. I don't want that. I'm going to leave that. You working, your hooter? What y'all think? I don't think he's working. Oh, he picked him up one. Ah, 
getting that grub on. What's up, man? Hi. Hi. Come on. I don't have nothing for y'all to eat. Hi. I'm not bringing y'all nothing. Okay? No, you got leaves. What's up, man? Like, I don't want your hand. Jazz. Hey. Oh. I'm getting in trouble, y'all. So, we just out enjoying ourselves. Quit running her. So, Sapphire and Crystal, they're fitting in pretty nice. They're eating. Everybody looks good. Tomorrow will be a whole week they've been here. Um, I'm definitely, definitely excited to see the herd growing. I can get my belly to quit being so mean. Hey, baby. So I wanted to come in here too, mommy. Yeah, so I wanted to come in here too. Just a regular old Friday afternoon for us. It's definitely nice. It's kind of cold out, so we'll be burning wood tonight. But um, I think it's going to heat up next week, so that's definitely going to be good, uh, especially if Jazz hasn't had the kids yet. I plan on going to a local um, livestock store, tractor supply, my co-op, and getting her some things for the kids so that way I know that the kids are okay. I need a vitamin B um oral. I need um iodine and there was a couple more things that were on the list that I know I need. So I'm gonna try to run over there before she goes into labor so that way I can be here for the entire time. <laughs> 